the hat on or something. That's all good. Um, yeah. So, so basically, um, in your situation, in your situation, uh, you're just you haven't signed your first deal. You want to you want to start doing this for solar, um, and you're kind of like looking for like advice, any pointers and stuff like that, like what to do, right? So. Right. I have gone the route. I don't, I no longer do cold calling, right? I don't, it's not that I don't condone cold calling. I'm like, you do what, whatever you got to do, right? Uh, now, at the same time, with cold calling, I did, I did do that at the beginning. It is very time consuming. That I can tell you for sure. Uh, it's very time consuming and it's just, if you can get the right people, um, the right people to talk to, then that's great. But the reality is, is in the solar industry, most people that you're gonna that you're gonna come across are gonna be either transitioning, uh, um, are gonna be either door knockers or some type of reps or like dealers. If you're not familiar with what a dealer is, a dealer is basically uh, the company between the homeowner and the installer right and that's the middleman pretty much uh the installer is the the company that carries out the work the 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 dealer is sort of like the broker in the deal so they broker right. the deal and they get paid commission on top of uh whatever the red line is right um I'm not a, uh, yeah, whatever the red line is, correct. So in your situation, man, I, I always look at this, right? I always do this with people. So first of all, you have to learn, you have to get your hands on. And this, you cannot escape that. Doesn't matter what industry you, you tr you're you going to try and go into, whether it's med spas, whether it's solar, roofing, landscaping, uh, windows, uh, any type of lead generation, if you want to have, if you want to build a company like a marketing agency and, 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 uh, work with these people, what needs to happen is, is you need to become an expert in your field. I know it's, it sounds so redundant and me saying that, uh, but, but honestly, dude, it's the truth. And what do I mean by being an expert in your field? You don't actually have to be an expert, but you just need to understand who you're talking to. And understand their pain points, like truly understand what they're what what they're actually after, you know, and what what they're not. Um, uh, what's their pet peeves? What's their uh, you know, things that they're fed up with? What's their nightmares? They keep they basically things that keep them up at night, <laughs> you know. <All> right. <clears throat> um, and the the moment I started, because when I started cold calling. These people were asking me questions I did not have the answer to. You know, I was like, whoa. I mean, that that's cool. I got to speak to the decision maker, you know, but I I I didn't know any better. And so they would ask me questions. I was like, Ugh. I didn't know, I didn't know what to respond. Now, if someone asked me that that same question, I'll be like, Yeah, that's how it works. Bam, bam, bam. Right. Cause I know exactly them confidence. Right. Right. But a con but again, the confidence comes comes from uh, uh, not just the competence, but just just the influx of of information that I have. Okay, right. and the the best way if if anyone's watching this, and it, it, the best way to kind of like uh know what to do is first of all start listening to podcasts. Okay, Absolutely. about solar. Uh, go and look up like a few uh, articles, you know, you can like in a few short weeks, you can literally become an expert in your field. Also, if you are going to try and do cold calling, get on a call with these people and don't get on a call with them to try and close, but, but get on a call with them to try and understand what their, what their pain points are, you right. know, now, uh, and then understand the industry better. So that's how those three, if you do those three things, like, in a very short period of time, you're going to understand who you're talking to. I can tell you for this. Yeah. I can tell you for this industries, for, 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 for the solar industry, people are fed up with going, going out there door knocking. Okay. The reps specifically and people who are 1099s and just 
pretty much work for themselves, right? Um, they're fed up with going door to door. Why? Because they don't, they, they want to be with their family. They don't want to be out and, you know, getting baked in the sun in Arizona when it's like super hot or Texas or California, whatever, right? right. It's just inconvenient driving thousands of miles a week just to, just to get a couple of sales a week, like just, you know, and, and that's not, it's not very convenient. So that's sort of like something that, that draws them in to what we have to offer right in the deal. Another, uh, uh, the, the other way is a company like a dealer company that has, for example, you know, three, four, five, ten 10 guys, uh, you know, on the team that are looking for appointments the company wants to feed those guys with appointments, so with leads and appointments, so they could close, uh, so, so they could close for them, right? They want to, yeah. Wanna have- so I, I think I've seen it. Are what you're talking about? I think I've seen like they're basically just groups of solar salesmen with one guy kind of accumulating all the leads and then sending them to them. Is that basically what you're talking about? Yeah. Ju- yeah. Yeah. I mean, any type of sales organization, which is what these uh, what what these uh, dealer companies are, they're gonna they're gonna be looking for um, they're, they're gonna have salespeople and they're gonna look to feed those salespeople with appointments because that's the only way they make money, pretty much. Absolutely. So they want to keep their guys busy because any anyone knows that if you have five good guys, you know, on the team and you're not able to provide them with appointments, they're gonna leave. They're gonna go to somewhere else. Cool. Where that's not an issue, okay. So that's something that they uh, uh, they they need to have taken care of. So that's a huge problem of theirs, right? So when you're talking to them on the phone, right, it is very important to convey that and, and to iterate exactly that pain point, you know, because because that's what most people are struggling with, you know. Um, outside of that, like once you like once you become once you become like a true expert and you sound like you know what you're talking about, the conversion rate is naturally going to happen a lot faster and it's yep. going to be, it's going to be with ease. Now you also need to, you also need to remember, you need to be aware of the fact that there's, there's more and more marketing agencies on the scene than any, anyone else. Right? Like for example, I have, what did I do to differentiate myself? I have a website with testimonials. Okay. I have, I have, so that's credibility right there. I've, I've, I've built a course. Okay. I've also, I also have a YouTube channel. Okay. So all of these things just boost your credibility. Right. Yep. And so it helps you. So you, I, I call it like a spider, spider web, you know, yep. it's usually like when people talk to me and they, they want to know who you are, which is what's going to happen. Uh, you know, they're going to want to check you out. And if you don't have anything to give them, it looks bad on you. Usually mm-hmm. what I do is when I talk to somebody, I don't think you have access. I don't think you have a, a, a difficulty. If you, if you're a hustler, bro. Like, I don't think you have a difficulty booking appointments. I don't think scheduling appointments on your calendar is something that's, that's hard. Honestly, yeah. I think the, 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 the more difficult part then becomes, uh, how do you convey that you can get the job done? Right. And how <clears throat> do you do, and how do you differentiate yourself from everyone else that have spoken to? Because you, you'd be like, you you'd have to obviously come to terms with the fact that they, you're not their first marketing agency. Mm-hmm. Most people that have been in, that that have been in the game for longer than six months to a year, um, they've already tried somebody, and it either didn't work out, or it didn't or or it didn't like it was an absolute shit show. Like it was a terrible right. experience, right? So and the so, media buyer that um. I've kind of been talking to he's uh, sent me like a lot of his results and case studies. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and they're pretty good. He's worked with like big names like Tony Robbins and uh, I can't remember the other guy. Um, mm-hmm. So my plan was almost to leverage that. So come up and be completely honest with them. Say, Hey, um, I don't know everything about this industry, but um, my guy Amar who handles the back end of the operation 
Um, he's got said said results for this guy, this guy, and he's also running these solar leads um, for this company and then kind of give him a display of, okay, this is kind of the leads that we can run for you. And then these are the results that uh, Amar or my media buyer can right. get you. But I don't know if that'll do it. You can put him on the pedestal, on the pedestal, although you don't have to. Okay. But um, I don't really have anything else. So that's kind of <laughs> where I'm No, at. that's cool. That's what you, I mean, you can have that, that person to help you with fulfillment, but you don't have to put him on the pedestal when it comes to uh, conveying value on the call. Okay. Because on the call, you just need a, you just need to build trust with them. Once you're able to build trust with them, then it becomes much easier to uh to do a uh, to strike a deal and for them to believe in what you're saying, right? Right. Um. So yeah, you can have that guy. You can have someone else. It doesn't matter. Uh. Actually, I'll tell you this. You can tell people whatever you want. Like you work with uh, this guy and that guy. Like at the end of the day, dude. Like, I don't know if it's just in solar, but. For all the industries that are lead gen dominated and, and it has very little to do with like brand and stuff like that, it doesn't matter. They just want to see because at the end of the day, you could you could have worked with Jesus, but look, if you if if they pay you five, six grand and you can't produce, it's as good as dead, you know? Right. So um, so again, it just you you need to be able to convey the point that that those leads do work and and how it's going to work specifically for them in their in their situation okay right. all right and then that kind of i guess goes on to my next question which is like um what do you think the best offer would be if i don't want to give a guarantee or a 15 leads in like 30 days uh type of deal if i just want to kind of lean on my media buyer and almost use him as the main selling point what do you think a good offer for that would be so yeah so what we do is we charge people like a set fee like a, a one time upfront payment and then and then also i mean i've tried so many different offers bro and some of them sound enticing but mm -hmm. in reality they don't work as well like for us you know and so it needs to be a win-win. It needs to be something in the middle. I understand that if you just say to people, hey, you know, it's going to cost you this much and it's going to be every single month, sort of like an agency retainer. They're kind of mm -hmm. like a lot of people are actually opposed to that because of the fact that there's so many of us. Right. right. And you just need a you just need it. But, but then if you have a differentiation point uh, and you can convey that, then a lot of people may not have a a, a, diff, a a problem paying you whatever you you ask for in return, right? But right. but I would say you definitely need to charge like an upfront payment, a hundred percent, right? I see a lot of people that do free, don't do free. I don't think you should do free, okay? No. Ever, okay? Now, um, you can charge a smaller amount, but you don't. I I don't recommend doing free, okay? Now, if you do, what I recommend doing is this, okay? So charge a one-time a one setup fee and then give them an option. That's what we do right now. They can either do the leads model, which is right now we charge $2,500 a month, or uh, they can do, or they can do, let's say a one-time upfront payment, and then they get maybe... X amount of, uh, we offer them, for example, I have a call center also. So we're able to actually offer them 20 appointments for free. Now, what I, what, mm. what free actually means is that they'll pay for the ads, but in our team will call their leads and generate those appointments. So that's kind of, gotcha. kind of like one of the offer that we managed to work in. Um, mm. and it works pretty well. And you just need to have a clause in the contract that the, that that is basically saying that it's you can offer x amount of appointments whatever uh but but it needs to be within a, a good enough area where, right. where you can we, you can actually produce results um because some of these people are just 
weird. I mean, they, they'll give you like weird like areas and. I mean, at the end of the day, we're not magicians. You know what I mean? No, and I and, I understand and, that location has everything to do with how much you're. And gonna I tell people that, dude. And I tell people that, like, when I started out, I used to tell people anything and everything. I was I sounded desperate, you know, and just to just to have them sign up, right? But then but then I came around to bite me in the butt because that's not like I shot myself in the foot by doing that because I, we couldn't deliver on some of the promises we made. Um, right. And we made it right to people, obviously, but I'm just saying it doesn't have to be that way. I'm telling you that you can be frank with people and they would appreciate that. Um, yep. So, so what you could do is you could, usually what I tell people is um, you could do, you could do this, right? If you don't get, so usually we, we tell people that we don't, take on anybody that's not willing to spend at least a hundred dollars a day, which for a 30 day period, it works out to be about uh, $3,000. And I'm not just saying this for the solar industry, but for most service-based industries that are like solar, like roofing, landscaping, whatever. Yep. I don't, I don't think less than three grand of a budget can do anything significant. And obviously we care about the client and we want them to get results. And usually if someone's like, oh, you know, we can't spend $3,000. I'm like, well, cool, bro. I understand. I mean, Sucks. yeah, it, if you want to, you want to do lead gen. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it, it costs money, you know? Yep. Yep. Uh, so I think so I'll be able to kind of hold my ground on that. Cause I, I've, I've sold so many jobs to people. Oh, you want to do it for 500 bucks less? Yeah, 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 yeah. Price yeah. is price. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So I would I would honestly say just work something out to where uh for three thousand dollars, let's say I, we usually do a contingency that if if they don't hit like 50, 50 leads a month, which works out to be about fifty dollars a lead, right? Something like that. Fifty leads, then you're gonna work for free yeah, for the easy. following. That's for the following month. Fifty dollars a lead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. But so, they'll, but they'll see that. Oh, 50 leads. That's huge in a month, but they don't understand that comes down to $50 a lead, which is absolutely doable. <laughs> yeah. It, most areas is do, very doable. Yeah. Wow. And that, it, that almost sounds like a good offer too. Yeah. You, you, yeah. uh, and then, and then, um, um, and then obviously we, cause I, I now have people that can call or not, on our clients leads, I was able to work those appointments into the offer also. So it kind of like sweet sweetens the deal a little bit. Uh, but you don't have to do that starting right off the bat. So um, that, that, that would be fine. So for, for every $3,000 they spend, you can guarantee them 50 leads. You can, you can, yeah. you can put it that Easy. way, for example. Right. Um, and if, the, if, if you don't hit the amount, just just work until you do but but usually usually if i tell people look if we're not generating leads for 50 dollars uh a you lead a like you got to you got to like we have a problem you know <laughs> so i would say let's work on that first and then and then figure out the rest and then um in terms of like actual ad copy i know you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to give your secrets or anything, but um, I kind of have some ideas. So maybe you say yes, maybe you say no. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like first line I'm gonna say whatever the um city is. So like I'm from Des Moines, Des Moines homeowners or blah blah blah, catch hook, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't want to like have a very long form ad copy like in terms of the text, mm -hmm. um, for at least Facebook ads. So I know that. Not entirely sure what I want to put in there. Um, mm -hmm. And then a, a simple picture of, uh, see, I wasn't sure, maybe a before and after of solar install. Something that's not like, that doesn't Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up in, in, don't get caught up in, in that, bro. Because re in okay. reality, uh, your guy is going to do the fulfillment. Yeah. Now, if you want to help them, if you want to help them with, with that, what you can do is you can just do research and it's very easy to do research through the ads library, right? For example, right. Oh, yeah, we, have, yeah, I do that all the time. we have other tools that we're paying, we're paying for, 
um but that you could spy on like uh, other social media platforms and stuff like that but the ads library of of like facebook or meta uh it it's enough you could just type in a few keywords and you see all the solar ads that are that are running currently running right now and it would tell you the date that they've been running from and usually i look at it from a standpoint of okay if that ad's been running for three months it means it most probably means that it's it's at least converting a little bit you know and right, usually the way I, the way i do is um i look at ads that stop my attention like if i if i'm scrolling through uh, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. If something catches my attention and makes me stop and want to read it, I'm like, okay, that's a that's probably like a good creative because it it literally like stopped me. Could could have been the the color scheme or the actual uh, image or maybe it's a video. I don't know, but it made me stop. Okay, so that's what I consider to be a decent ad. And then I what I would do is I create like a Google Doc. Um, I don't do this anymore. I have people on the team that that do that, but I used to do that. Um, they will create like a Google doc with all the good ads and then you can just take inspiration from them. I don't usually say like right now we're working on like a lead generation course for solar. Um, like it's going to be, it's going to launch in December. Um, but, but, and, and we're going to have like ready to go campaigns that people can copy and paste, but that's not the most important thing because even if I give you 10 campaigns to work with, those campaigns are going to die at some point or another, you know? Yep. So you need to figure out, you need to figure out and learn how to come up with your own creative, uh, you know, uh, cam with your own campaigns. Because if you don't, sooner sooner or later, those campaigns will die off. And because that's the only thing that, that – because you, you use that as a crutch all the way through, like you're going to yep. suffer. Because that happens, dude. We post a camp. You know how many, how many times we've seen – I've seen our own ads like time and time again by other people. I'm not mad. Mm -hmm. It's just that's the game. Right. Yep. But I'm just saying I'm also aware enough. I'm like, OK, they're they're copying us and we're already like two, three steps ahead. And very so soon that campaign is going to die off. We, we're going to kill it. We're going to run something else. Right. So you need to you need to basically get into the mindset of, OK, how does that how does it really work? Like what gets people's attention in this industry? Right. And very soon you're going to be able to do that. But, dude, we spent over 25 mil in solar ads. So. So we yeah, know, can. we know, um, like you just, you have to be a freaking dummy to not start to see patterns. You know what I mean? I so, think I actually tried to look you up on Facebook ads library, actually. Cause wait, is your company maximize solar? It is. Yeah. yeah I couldn't find you. Yeah. I, I tried to look you up the other day. I remember, but <laughs> if you, if you look at my, uh, if you, you can type in uh, my name, bro, I have, uh, I have like YouTube, uh, I have like ads running right now. Yeah, I, I I've noticed that. Yeah, the in person ads where you're talking or yeah. uh, th those are hot right now, and those those are really what's. I mean, kind of like we were talking about the spider web. It's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm sure those are getting you tons, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Platform for those. yeah, those work. Those for, for sure. I mean, we didn't do. I I didn't do any of those ads for two years, bro. Like we just started running running video ads. Uh, I saw this for, other guy, Prospect Bacon or something. He's doing it too, and those are getting good results too. I think he does solar lead gen too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I know of that company, but I just don't, I don't, I don't know what they're doing to be honest with you. But I always look at it that way, dude. I, I, I always try to be like two to three steps ahead. I'm not mm -hmm. concerned with what, what other people are doing because. In reality, like if 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 I am so concerned of, I'm aware, but I'm not. I don't concern myself too much with it, you know, because uh, I I'm trying to be one to two steps ahead always, as opposed to like trying to mirror and copy what other people are doing right now. You got to be a free thinker. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, I appreciate you kind of answering all these questions seriously. Yeah, for sure, man. I just want to help. I've been, uh, yeah. my team's been asking about, 
like just creating more like smma content and stuff like that i'm like i don't know dude there's so many people out there yeah, yeah. it is but it we is have hard. we have like one thing i pride myself on is dude inside of the agency we have such a good process dude for like onboarding, for uh, retaining the client, for communication, everything inside and outside, like metrics, KPIs, track, like all that stuff, dude. It, we have it down to a T. It took us a while to get to that point, but that's probably one of the things that I'm proud that I'm proud of the most. Oh, you know? absolutely! It's just yeah, setting all that stuff up. That's a dream because then guess what? You can sit back and make this content so yeah exactly so i hope that helps um yeah um what kind of are you doing are you using like a a software an automation software for after um like after they target the uh ad or click on that ad are you using like follow-up methods? yeah we do we do high level we do go okay. high level we do go yeah. high level we give yeah, we give all of our clients an account inside of go high level um because just makes it easier um they can try like a lot of our clients don't have crm so we just provide them with a crm um on us pretty much so they get that with right. uh with sort of like their membership i'm uh, not a membership yeah, I mean, like, i'm not even yeah competing with you really at all no dude i don't i don't care dude yeah. I mean, I, the thing is there's bread and butter for everyone you know mm -hmm. there there's there's I'm not concerned with you competing with me or or, no, or yeah. <laughs> whatever. It just I want you to win, bro. Whatever it is that you do, I want you to win. You know because That's awesome. well, I because, appreciate that seriously. Yeah, why why not? But yeah, you need to have you need to have a sequence, some type of a sequence, some type of a. So go high level works pretty well. And we started that using media it. Buyer, What's when that? I when I was talking to him, um, he didn't tell me a specific software, but um, he like knows how to build drip funnels through something else not go high level but um so I yeah we use we that. use um like we have an automation sequence through it's called that's with a different uh crm it's like an autoresponder just for email uh hmm. we use active campaign or something like that right so yeah. we do we do that just just for emails and then everything else um we do inside of high level and that just works well we do text and email follow-up through high level and then we do um drip sequences for the agency inside of i mean from active campaign so that's how kind of like we have it structured right now yeah yeah no i've seen a lot of a lot of guys do that and i mean the just how it's like in terms of um getting clients after just how huge that can be because especially when there's like a local business like solar where they have to do so much outreach and people are i mean they get tons of messages the follow-ups yeah. are just huge 100 percent, yeah 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 well 100%. um i guess the last question i have if you can if you got any time um like what should i not do <laughs> that's what i always ask people because you can tell me everything to do but the one thing you tell me not to do is going to be the best thing you got to tell me, I think. Huh? Um, what not to do. Don't, don't try and be perfect. Don't try to be perfect. Like right off the bat, I, I've kind of like struggled with this, but now I'm like the complete opposite. I would launch. I want to test out my idea. Like, test it out, put it, you know, put it out there so I can get judged and then improve upon that and launch a better product. And then, then, then wait and try to make it perfect and then launch it. And then, and then, you know, just, just to find out that that's not good enough anyway, or it's not what the market wants, you know? So just, if you have an idea, test it out, dude. Test it out. Just put it out there. You know. Yeah. Like, don't don't wait around. And make try and make things perfect. That's yeah. that. I would say don't do that. <laughs> that's honestly huge because I think that's kind of what I've been doing. Yeah. Don't don't do that. Just just test 
chess dude and fuck up and you know and just continue to improve don't try not to make the same mistake twice i mean honestly if you can do that i can't tell you that i've always been good with that i mean obviously sometimes i've i've had to repeat the mistake to learn the lesson but ideally if you can just do it once learn your lesson and keep going you progress so much faster gotcha yeah, dude. Well, I really appreciate it, Ivan. Seriously, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure, bro. You gave me some uh, good info. Yeah, for sure. All right, we're gonna stop this right here. Um.